Mr. Speaker, the very last thing my constituents would want is to revoke Article 50. The yeah, British yeah, people yeah, voted yeah, for yeah, it, yeah, yeah. and they expect the Prime Minister to deliver, and have every confidence that she will. But will she reassure the people of Gibraltar that no agreement will be made unless they are fully included in that agreement, and that Spain has no veto over their future? Yeah. We're, we're, we're very clear on that, and we have been uh, holding, continuing to hold talks with the Gibraltar government to make sure that they are fully aware of the negotiations as, we, as those negotiations go along, uh, as indeed we have with, uh, with others. We're very clear about the position of Gibraltar. And my honourable friend makes a very important point about the Labour Party and, and the opposition in this House uh, today. They claim that they want to uh, respect the vote of the referendum, that here they are trying to suggest that we should be revoking Article 50. That's the exact opposite of what the British people wanted. Ms McInnes. Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister has said that her position on Gibraltar is clear, but if that's the case, can she explain why she made no reference to Gibraltar in her statement? Oh, yes. And can she clarify what conversations she's had with the Spanish Government about the Gibraltar-Spain border? Yeah. 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 We are very clear that the issue of uh, borders and relationships is one that we, we wish to discuss as part of the overall relationship for the future between the United Kingdom and the European Union. But as I said earlier, we have been continuing to discuss with the Government of Gibraltar their particular concerns and interests to ensure that we are able to provide a deal which works for Gibraltar as well as the United Kingdom.